Okay, let me explain to you. In Mimeos, we segregate into three categories. First is management portal, Vimeo's management portal. Second is Vimeo's residence apps. Okay, Vimeo's resident app can be downloaded from either iOS or Google Play Store. The third one is the Vimeo's GP, which is the security apps. These security apps is allow your security to register your visitor, to scan the QR code, and also to check out your visitor. All right. So now let me show you our first uh, apps interface, which is the residence apps. Okay, so as you can see here, there are two apps in my phone. Vimeo's GP is for the security. Vimeo's is for the residents to download. Let's go to Vimeo's GP first. It's for the security. All right. When we click into the apps, but with the condition of if you key in the username and password, lah, all right? Okay, you will see these three things, the three main feature in our security apps. First thing is register walk-in. Register walk-in is allow your security to register your guests in the system. Okay. This is how your guard register for your visitor. So when your visitor are going to leave your property, you can just check out them. So when you check out, it will keep a visitor history record in your management portal. All right. Then this scan QR code is allow you to scan your visitor pass the visitor pass that pre-registered by your resident earlier. Okay, so this is the interface of our security apps. Okay, now let's go to residence apps, which is the Vimeo's apps. Okay, the Vimeo's apps. Okay, so same, you have to register yourself as a, visit, uh, as a residence and scan the QR code, you know, get a QR code, an authenticate code from management office, scan the code and you will be fully accessed into this residence apps. So this is the interface for your residence apps. You will see the bulletin boards. These are the pin bulletins that pin by your management office, which means this is the important notice, okay? The important uh, message that your management want your resident to take note of. When we scroll down, you will see the buy residence. This buy residence is allow your residents to post their own bulletin or to post their own advertisement in the system. With the condition of management, you have to approve it. Only your resident will fully success to post their advertisement or notice in the apps. Okay. Then other than that, we have this visitor pass, okay? This is the place where your residents pre-register their visitor. Double check, then we submit. This is how you pre-register. Click into the pass. This is a detail. You may share the pass to your visitor now by clicking the share button. Okay. So let's say for specifically visitor like renovations, vendors, visitor, when your residents create this kind of pass, uh, special pass in the apps, they will need to get approval from the management. Only the apps will generate a QR code for your residents. So meaning to say, your resident, they have to go through the renovation SOP, pay the renovation deposit, submit the renovation form. Only management will approve to allow their residents to generate the QR pass to send to their renovation vendors. 
Okay. So this is the visitor pass. The third thing. We have the switch unit here. Vimeos is exactly like Condo Master. One user ID can have multiple units or can have multiple projects as long as you are using Condo Master or using Vimeos. So let's say today, I want to check my unit number for A0301. I just switch it. So now I'll be in the unit 301 interface. So for owner residence, I want to post my own advertisement. We just go to my bulletins, click the plus add button, then key in your key in the particulars. Okay. Any from unit, let's say A11. Okay, let's say I have no attachment. <clears throat> okay, just next. No cover image, confirm. So as a residence, these are the steps that how I create my own advertisement or bulletin in the systems. But the status will show pending until this notice or this bulletin get the approval by the management. All right. So this is our residence apps. Okay, we can switch our unit number from here as well, from here, from here. Okay, <clears throat> so this is our residence apps. Now let us go to the management portal. <coughs> okay, this is our management portal. If let's say I'm the company A, I have few projects in you know, uh, under Vimeos that using Vimeos. So you will see a listing like this. Okay, this is the admin panel. So when we log in into the management portal, this is, the, this is what you will be seeing, the overview page, whereby we show you the statistic. The statistics of your visitor demand. Every day you have roughly how many visitor visited your condos and also what kinds of visitor that visited to your place, okay? Then you can filter it out from here. Okay, you can filter it to see <clears throat> your daily records. Okay, recently I have one of the, my tester BE, okay, tester site, one of the BE from one of my tester site in Selena. I was quite surprised that she will share this kind of, uh, you know, her feedback to me. She has just, uh, she just has one year experience in this market in property management. She told me that, Jovel, I am quite surprised that when I log in into Vimeo's statistic, when I saw this statistic, because I am not necessary, you know, I have not necessary to wait for my gut to report to me. Uh, daily, we have how many visitors and also the demand, what's going on. I basically can check. I can directly check from my site to check. Let's see what's going on here. Who are they? And then what, you know, uh, uh, let, and then also uh, each particular unit, some specific, uh, specific units, how many visitors visit this, uh, this particular units, you know, what they did. I was quite surprised that uh, I was quite surprised, uh, you know, to see that this BE is actually uh, got our intention. Why in Vimeos we show you this statistic? It's not only to tell you that oh, how, today we have how many visitors. Not only that, but we want to let you know what kind of visitor visit visit to your property. 
daily. What kind? Is it the high, uh, the what, uh, what kind, what type of the visitor is the highest demand in your property? Is it the courier service or is it the vendors? Is it the renovations or pick up drop off? From here, it will affect to your technical management. If higher rates of renovations vendors in your property, it might cause you know, uh, damage in common area as well. So in here, you, Vmails can actually, based on this statistic, to work together with Condo Master Technical Management feature. Uh, so this is basic, basically the big pictures. You know, this statistic is a big picture for our dearest clients to monitor visitor big pictures. Then from here, you can download the reporting. You can download the entry report or you can download the past reports. Let me show you the report. This is the past entry report. And this is the daily report to show you the name of the visitor, the car numbers, what time they check in and what, that, what time they check out from your property. Okay. Then we go back to Vinyos. Okay, so this is the overview page, like I uh, showed to you just now. You will see the total pass issued. Okay, total we have how many pass already issued currently in our property? How many, many pass that pending for approval? Currently, we have how many visitors in our property right now? And also, we have how many registered vehicles in our property right now? All right, then this is the unit listing. Lah. All right, uh, this is the master listing. Okay, so for each of the unit, for those residents who already activate the resident apps, it will show under the account, accounts here. All right, then from here, you will see this unit already have how many uh, visitor history records. So meaning to say this unit A11, currently this unit has 14 history. 14 visitor history. Then this passes. This is the history of your visitor, visitor uh, visited history. So if we click into the reference number, we will see their details here. Okay. Then the visitor category. You can add on your own visitor category as well. Or if let's say your condos are not allowed Airbnb visitor, you can delete the visitor segment. This segment, you can delete it from the system as well. Okay. We give you the flexibility to add your own visitor category or delete or amend your own visitor category. Parking lot number. Okay. This is to allow your security to allocate for your visitor when they visit your condos and also the visitor pass tag. All right. And then goes to the bulletin. Bulletin board. As you can see this one, looking for nanny. Just now I was using my resident apps to launch a bulletin, you know, to, to create my own advertisement. So this is the place where management, you can make approval. Okay. If I approve, I just publish. So when I publish, my residents will see the bulletin or the advertisement in their apps. Okay, and then for security guards, like I mentioned, security guard, we need user ID and also password to log in, right? So for management portal, we also don't limit you the usage capacity. For management, you can create your own security ID in the systems. Key in your own preferable username and also key in your preferable uh, password. After you create, you just pass the username and password to your guard. So as long as they download the Vmails GP apps in the security phone, they can directly access into it. 
So this is uh, one of the strength in our security guards. We recognize, okay, we recognize the security ID by the username and password, not by device. Because what if the device low back or what is the device breakdown? How, what are we going to do? You know, we lost the most important gadget already. So that's why in security guard, Vimeos, we don't limit your ID capacity. It's up to you. One, you want to create how many user ID is up to you. You want to create day shift, night shift. Let's say I have two entries. I want to create two IDs. Also can, I want to create four IDs because I have two entries and day shift and night shift. It's up to you. You just create it. If the, your gadget low back, you just change another phone. If breakdown, you just change another new phone. Just download the Vimeo GP apps. Will do. Right? So this is our management portal. Okay? As you can see, this is Vimeo, Vimeo's version 1. Lah. So Vimeo's version 1 is pretty direct and straightforward. 